Hi boys and girls. We are going to start working on some stamp game division in class. So I thought I would prepare a video for you to watch at home from my web page so that you can see exactly how we do this with exchanges. And when you come into class, I'm going to ask you to start practicing some of the problems that we have set up. This problem that we're going to be working on is 8,856 divided by 246. I've built our dividend, which is 8,000s, 800s, 510s, and 6 units. And we're going to divide that up. And our divisor is 200s, 410s, and 6 units. So remember, we're doing 8,856 divided by 246. And remember, in division, the answer is going to be with the units, and the answer will be what one person gets. So we're going to start by dividing up our thousands. They'll go to the hundreds. Our hundreds will go to the tens. And our tens will go to the units. And remember, we work across, not down, we build row by row by row. So I'm going to start dividing up our dividend. Thousands to the hundreds. Hundreds to the tens. and tens to the units. And as you can see, we don't have enough tens. And in division, the answer is what one person gets. Everybody gets the same amount. So we need to exchange a hundred for ten tens. One hundred equals 10 tens. Let's go back to the thousands, the hundreds, uh-oh, I think we're going to run into a problem. Not enough hundreds, that's okay. We'll take a thousand and exchange it for 10 hundreds. 1,000 equals 10 hundreds. We'll start work through the tens now, get rid of those, divide them up. Still have plenty of tens left. No exchanges there yet. Back to the thousands. Back to the hundreds. Now to the tens, and it's looking like I'm not going to have enough tens. So I'm going to have to get a hundred, exchange it for ten tens. And yes, I have laid out groups of ten already, just because I had a feeling there were going to be some exchanges. Well, we have one thousand. We can't do anything with it, so we're going to put it back and exchange it for hundreds. Now the hundreds will go to the hundreds, the tens will go to the tens, the ones or the units will go to the units. So our answer, our partial quotient, is going to be somewhere in the 30s because we have 10, 20, 30. That's part of our answer right there, the quotient. We're going to start to give out the hundreds, now the tens, Now the units, or the ones, remember, units and ones, same thing. And I have enough ones, that's good, but I know I'm going to be doing some exchanges in a minute. Back to the hundreds. Back to the tens. Uh-oh. 
I need to exchange a hundred for ten tens. And now I need some units, so I'll take that ten and get out ten ones. Remember, one ten is the same as ten ones. Okay, we're at 32 and I still have a lot left to divide up. So we go back to the hundreds. We know our answer is going to be more than 32 but less than 40. Well, the answer is going to be more than 33. They still have quite a few hundreds left to exchange and divide. And I need some more ones. One ten exchanged for ten ones. One ten is equal to ten ones. My hundreds, my tens. Oh, looks like I'm going to need some tens. Put a hundred back, get ten tens out, need some units, oops, we're at thirty-four, so the answer is going to be more than thirty-four, let me see if I can straighten out what I just did. So I like this to be nice and neat. There we go. Hundreds. Tens. Units. I need some more units. Need some more ones. One ten is the same as ten ones. There's my exchange. Be very careful when you guys are counting out your exchanges. Hundreds, and we're sitting at 35 right now, aren't we? One, two, three, four, five. I don't have any hundreds left. Let's see if this works out. I don't know if we're going to have a remainder or not. Okay, looking good with the tens. I hope I have enough ones that we're going to redo this whole thing. There you go. It's going to work. All right. So, come around to the front of the camera. And if we look, yeah, let's move that back. There we go. So we have 8,856 divided by 246 equals, I'm going to move this up. There we go. Equals 36. Three tens, six units. When you come in tomorrow, you can practice this problem, and I have a box full of other problems that you can practice. And remember, for stamp game division, two people only. Two's company and three's a crowd. I'll see you guys tomorrow.